Eusebius, the father of church history, gives us uh, an in interesting intellectual dynasty here. The gospel tells us, of course, about the beloved evangelist John, but it doesn't tell us that his ace pupil was Polycarp. And Polycarp was later the bishop of, of Izmir, or Smyrna it's called in the ancient world, uh, one of the seven churches of Asia Minor, as a matter of fact. And uh, he was martyred for the faith in the most beautiful description that we have of an early Christian martyrdom, I think, available anywhere. Eusebius in his church history was so impressed with it that the martyrdom of Polycarp, as it's called, was sent out by the Christians in Smyrna throughout the Mediterranean world. And Eusebius simply incorporates it en masse in his own history. And so an interesting story. Uh, Polycarp uh, was uh, indeed so well loved by the Christians there. They wanted to keep him out of trouble because everybody at the games in Smyrna were trying again to get the governor to persecute the Christians. And, and Polycarp in particular, the father of the Christians. And so they wanted to arrest him, but they had kidnapped Polycarp, that is the Christians did, to a farmhouse uh, about uh, oh, 10 or 15 miles north of Smyrna. But they tortured a little kid who finally revealed where Polycarp was, and so the police came to arrest him. And so Polycarp welcomed them and uh, said, do you mind if I pray upstairs right before we leave? And they, I guess they, they fed the arresting police donuts or whatever else. And then they came down and he was welcomed inside the chariot of the chief of police, whose name was Herod, by the way. And the chief of police, uh, we had such details that he scraped his shin as he got onto the, the chariot. And on the way to the amphitheater, uh, where they were bad-mouthing the Christians, uh, he tried to convert Polycarp to paganism, and he wouldn't do it. And so they then brought Polycarp into the theater there, and uh, not the, the amphitheater, that's two theaters put together, an oblong hippodrome, the, the great uh, gladiatorial uh, com combat area. And now the cry went out, the father of the Christians is here, Polycarp to the lions, and so on. And the governor, the Roman governor at the time, again tried to dissuade Polycarp. They said, look, we'll send you to the beasts if you don't curse Christ and say Caesar's Lord. And that's when Polycarp made the famous statement, for 86 years I have been his follower, and should I deny him now, he would not deny him. And so then they finally decided to have the hunt begin in which he would be put inside of an animal skin and made to fight with beasts. But no, no, there was a government functionary who said, sorry, the beast show is over. <laughs> An indication of petty tyranny among minor officials, which is of course continued to the present day. In any case, then they decided to burn him alive and indeed, that they did. But for a while, evidently, there was a swirl of wind that kept the fire away. And then finally, he was cremated for the Lord, yeah. And they scattered his ashes uh, on a nearby river there. <laughs>